In this one, we're going to query for the actual data which we will use and which will get passed into our promotions filter. So behind the scenes, what I've done is I've just created some SQL just to um, populate the database with some starter data. So I've got some SQL files here which you can just copy. So I've got one for the procs table, very simple, just uh, creates two product records. And then we have one for promotions. And so there are a couple of promotions to go into the promotions table. And then of course we have our join table, which is the product promotion. And so just a couple of simple records there, uh, which will create those joins for us. Choose high definition for the best viewing experience. And if you'd like to join a growing group of software developers and take your skills to a new level, all you need to do is subscribe, click the little notification icon and welcome. If we have a look at the database, uh, if we have more of a visual look using Table Plus. So there you'll see our two products. Here you can see our two promotions. So if you recall how we said we were going to do this, uh, it's got an ID, a name, a type. So what type of promotion and that will help us to apply the correct filtering and then an adjustment and then the criteria, the actual rules on how to apply this filter and how to see if it's actual, uh, actually valid. And so there we just have a couple of dates to and from and then this next one is going to be a fixed price. So it's setting a product to a fixed price if it has a voucher code of this. Hopefully that's straightforward. We've already uh, been through that once, so we don't need to go through that much in great detail. And then we have the product promotion table, which is um, the join table. So this will be interesting. This will come into play when we go to do the query. And so uh, in order for it, uh, in order for the promotion to be valid for the product, we'll have a valid to field, uh, which will be a date at which point it then expires. So if the request date falls after the valid to date, then it will have expired. But if the request date is before valid to, then that'll be, uh, that promotion will still be valid. And also if the valid to value is null, then that promotion will still be valid also. So let's make a start on this and we'll think about how we'd like to pass the data once we've queried it into our promotions filter. The way I thought this might be logical would be to have the data, the already existing uh, data which gets passed in, and then as a separate argument, we can have the promotions. That just seems logical to me. And what I'd like to do is sort of keep the promotion separate from the product. So I could query for the product and get the promotions for that product all in one go, but I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is do a single query for the product. If the product isn't found, then we'll just send back an error. Otherwise, we'll then use that product to query for the promotions which apply to it. And what I'm also thinking of doing is I will then add the product as data to lowest price inquiry. So here, at the moment, we have a property for the product ID here. But what I'm thinking of doing is actually replacing that with a product object, and that will make more sense. And then we'll be able to get the price off of that product. So let's start querying for this. This is the product's controller, and so I think it will make sense. We want to get hold of the product, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually create a constructor, and then in there, we will actually get the product repository, because uh, when we created our product entity and our promotion entity, we actually created uh, repositories for those as well. So in the repository folder here, you'll see we have the product repository, promotion repository, repository, and the product promotion repository. So we have access to those things. So here we'll say product repository. And because it's product controller, instead of naming it product uh, repository, we'll just call it repository. I'm using PHP 8, which means I can use promoted properties like this. And so down here, what we'll do after our lowest price inquiry, we'll say product equals this repository find, and then we just need the ID, which as you recall, is being passed in as a route parameter. So then we'll say ID, and we'll go and dump that product out in a second just to have a look at it. But what I'm gonna do here is just leave a comment to say, 
add error handling. I'm not going to put the error handling in just yet because I want to have something which is uniform throughout the entire service for that. So I'm going to have a think about error handling at the end and at the moment we're just going to stay fairly happy path. So there I've just said add error handling for not found product and then here we'll go and dump out the product just to check that our query is actually working. So in Postman let's send this off and then here we have app entity product. Perfect. Then like I say, what I'd like to do is actually add a product property to, to the lowest price inquiry rather than a product ID. So let's go and change that now. So this will be a product and then we'll change the name. And then we need to look for references to product ID. So I'm gonna remove the getter and the setter for the product ID, which is my first two getters and setters there. Delete those. Then underneath in PHP Storm on a Mac, I can hit Control and Enter. And this will give me the option to add getters and setters. So I'm just going to add uh, them for products. So if you don't have that option, if you're using a different editor, just add these this getter and setter here. Get product and set product. And then I'm going to go back to the products controller. I'm just going to say lowest price inquiry. Set product product. Next what I want to do is get all of the promotions which are valid for the product. So for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom query and I'll put that inside the promotions repository. So first off we need to get the promotions repository. I don't really want to add it to the constructor. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it off of an entity manager and so what I'll do is I'll drop this onto another line And so there we have an entity manager and then what I'll do is I'll say promotions equals this entity manager gets repository promotion class and then we need a descriptive name, um, a descriptive method name for getting all of the valid promotions for the product. I shall call this find valid for product and so obviously we're going to need a product for this and then if you recall how we said that it would be valid it would be valid if the request date was made before the valid to date or if the valid to date was null so we're going to need to get the request date and if you recall we can get that off of our lowest price inquiry we'll just go and have a quick look at that so here we go, we're passing a request date to that. So back in our controller, we'll say date create immutable and then lowest price inquiry get request date. Let's go over to promotion repository. So promotion repository and then here underneath the constructor, this is where we'll create our method find valid for product. So the first argument is going to be a product and then the second one will be a date time. So we'll say date time interface and this will be the request date. And so the way I'm going to do this is going to be with the query builder and some doctrine, doctrine query language. So we'll say return and then this create query builder. Here we just need to pass an alias so we'll say p for promotions and then what I'm going to need to do is actually do an inner join on the product promotion in order to get all promotions for a particular product. Thinking about that what I did was I didn't include something which I included in the product entity. If we go and look at the product entity we created this property here product promotions but I didn't think it was something which I was going to need on my promotion but I actually think that now I am going to need it so what I'm going to do forgive me because I'm jumping around a little bit here I'm going to copy that from the product we will go to the promotion and then as the final property here we'll paste that in there and then we just need to make a change where it says mapped by instead of saying product this will be promotion 
and then if we go and look at the product promotion you'll see what I mean by that and we're looking at this property here the promotion property so that is referring to this and likewise I did in the product class where we created uh, where we set this to an array collection in the constructor we'll just copy the constructor from there and then we shall drop that as the first method in there and then down at the bottom I just want to add a getter for the product promotions so uh, here where it says getters product promotions so again if you're not using PHP storm just copy this getter here now back in promotion repository we can say in a join product promotions and we'll give that an alias of PP and then we'll say and where PP product equals and we're going to use parameter binding here so we'll say product and then we'll use another and where so there is a where clause uh, but I advise against using it because when you use another where after that then it means that that one gets overwritten so always use and where or in most cases use and where so then we're going to say and where and this one's a little bit more complex we're going to say pp valid to is greater than the request date or pp valid to is null and then we need to set these parameters so set parameter and this one is product and so that will be the product object which is getting passed in and then the next parameter will be the request date which is also being passed in and then to finish off we say get query and then get result okay so hopefully that made sense we're doing doing an inner join on the product promotions table if a product or if that product can be found if it can be joined on that product and also where PP valid two, so I noticed I've got a comma in there that needs to be a, a dot. So PP valid two is greater than the request date, or PP valid two is null. And here we're just setting the parameters and then performing the query. Let's go back to our controller and we'll actually dump this out just to make sure that it's actually working. Okay, so in Postman, we'll fire off the request. Okay, and so we're getting an array which contains two items. So we have the Black Friday half price sale promotion, and we also have the voucher OU812. So let's test this fully, and we'll test the different combinations. So if we actually change this valid two date to one which is before the request date, so I've got request date 4th of 4th 2022 there, Let's just change this to uh, 1st of the 1st, 2022, and that should cover it. And so this time, we, going by the rules that we've set, we should only get one back, which will be this one here, which is null. Let's fire this off. Okay, so we have an array with one item, and that is the voucher, because the rule being, uh, if valid two is null, then it means that that promotion is still valid. Let's change them both to null. And so this time again we should see two okay and so this time we get two back so that's all working let's actually go and change this back to what it was before 2022 11 28 meaning the end of the black friday sale and then fire it off again and so now we're back to two promotions so that's all querying taken care of in the next one what we'll do is we'll go and pass the data into our promotions filter and we'll look at ways in which we can add a bit of strictness to make sure that our promotions is an array uh, which contains only promotion objects. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. 
And also, if you're interested in my full-length courses, then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.